I saw a photo of me, Billy Allen Jutz, age 16 months. What a cute baby girl. I wonder, did my mother know, knew that I was a girl? Did she suspect? Did she see who I was? I wish I could ask her, tell her of who I am, how I feel inside. But alas, I cannot, for she died in 2007. Her death was the trigger, the switch, what had shown the light on me. I always knew, felt odd, different somehow, not right, not myself. Being a child of the 50s, before most people knew what I was feeling, what was labeled not normal, I knew enough to keep my mouth shut, not reveal what I felt inside. I knew what was wrong. To have spoken about it would have opened me to ridicule, abuse, and shame. This I could not do. I knew if Gordon found out, the abuse I endured would have been worse. Had he known, he surely would have beaten it out of me. Or did he sense it, suspect it, try to make a man out of me? I knew enough of how I felt that it was not normal. I tried whenever I could to wear my sister's clothes, to sneak precious moments and don my sister's dresses. Oh, how I longed to be that cute little girl. I know now with hindsight that indeed I was, but no, I stifled her at every turn. When I dared to dress, I felt I was defective, that boys don't wear dresses, that this was wrong. Or did my mother dressing me as a little girl somehow lead me into this condition I now live with? For me, does it matter that I was born, that nature chose this for me? Or was it the environment I grew up in, the abuse I endured? Was it a refuge I sought, those precious, oh so precious moments when I dared to dress? I wish my mother was here, alive, for now that I have looked, accepted who I am, I would love to ask her to tell her how I feel. I know she would accept me, love me even more. I think she always knew that I had a secret I dared not reveal. She went to her resting place, a free spirit, whom Gordon tried to contain, tried to hold down. My mother was a strong woman in the 50s and 60s, and most likely before I was even born. The pain she suffered at the hands of a madman, the 12 sh children she bore him, the abuse he meted out to me, my twin brother, and her. How she stood up to it, I'll never understand. I know she endured it. She had to. In those days, a woman and her children were property, owned by the husband, the father. Father, I use that term loosely, for he was not a father, a dad, nor a husband, a spouse. His demons, I can only guess, must have been many. What weakness did he hide behind the booze, that ultra macho facade? It has taken me years and much thought to forgive him, forgive, but not love. For he will never, nor did he ever once earn my love. To forgive, by one definition, is to long, no longer be angry. That anger has left me. Would I or could I wrap my arms around him, say, I love you, Dad. Nope. He died. In fact, his last moments alive were abusing me. As my mother looked on, bang, bang. Two shots rang out, one through the heart, the other through his cheek. As he crumbled to the floor, he coughed twice, uttered his last words, someone called the cops. I spat upon him, walked away, and then the abuse, his abuse aimed at me, was over. With no counseling for someone who witnessed this in those days did not exist. So I punished myself for those feelings I kept inside that now I know, but not then, that I was a girl, a female, a woman. So was it by nature or nurture? No one really knows. For me, my best guess is I was born like this. The climate I grew up in only reinforced those feelings I kept hidden, buried inside. The time, the place was not conducive to being open about this. Had I sought counseling and I thought about it from time to time in my teen years, I would have been judged mentally ill to be cured of this curse. 
I do know Gordon forced me to bury this deep in the dark recesses of my mind, never to take a look at myself. His abuse left a lasting impression on me that I carried for over 55 years. 55 years? How do I know that? I have medical records from February 1954. I was hospitalized for infectious hepatitis. Those records state, patient is very unhappy, has a pain look on his face, talks to no one, does not complain of pain. I was three and a half years old. I had already learned to keep my feelings inside, to keep secrets, to trust no one. The emotional abuse must have begun when I was an infant. To Gordon, I must have been a seething hot ember, always in his way, between him and my mother, robbing him of what he owned, something for which he never forgave me for. I do not ever recall him say, I love you. As the years wore on, had he said it, by then I knew it would have been a lie. So yes, my mother is gone, but her influence guides me. Her love and support is still with me felt and that picture that picture reveals the true me